one um, has very little vision and all of his, he learns everything through Braille. And then these are raised so I can feel these. Uh, it's probably one of my biggest challenges professionally to teach um, somebody who is, for the most part, he can't see and to teach him geometry. I'm not gonna lie, it is actually pretty hard because geometry is a very visual class. There's a lot of shapes and a lot of angles. He doesn't have any learning disabilities, so he's expected to learn exactly the same concepts that the other students are, and he's tested on them. So he has to take the state EOCs and pass them to graduate from high school. She's patient. You know, she, she'll, if she, one way doesn't work, she will find another way. I um, accepted the challenge because I, I wanted to see how it would go. He was not successful last year, so he's retaking geometry this year. It's not so surprising because it's such a difficult subject for a visually impaired student to learn. Like CT over RN. But I think with this second year, I think he'll get there. He's, he's an amazing individual. He has, um, he's so willing to work and to try whatever um, strategy we're using in class to help him see it. So it is a struggle, but uh, you know, I, there's, I've always found ways around those kind of things. It's just been a joy working with him. I think what makes a good teacher is somebody who cares about their students and who is, like I said, persistent and is not gonna give up on, on the students.